a story time about unicorns. And I have a special guest for you later. But first, we're gonna start our story time off with our hello song. And here's how it goes. Are you ready? Hello, everybody, hello. Hello, everybody, hello. We're gonna read and rhyme and have a great time. Hello, everybody, hello. Good job. I miss you guys so much, but I'm glad I get to read to you at home. All right, the first story we're gonna read today is called Unicorn Thinks He's Pretty Great by Bob Shea. Have you ever read a story about unicorns before? This one is really funny. Things are a lot different around here since Unicorn moved in. I thought I was pretty cool when I rode my bike to school. Until that show off went flying by. Look at Unicorn, he's flying into school. Or the time I made marshmallow squares that came out almost perfect. And he made it rain cupcakes. Look at that. Unicorn's magic's making it rain cupcakes. Then at the big talent show, I was dropping my signature dance moves when he steps up with some serious prancing and wins first prize. That's not all. It gets much, much worse. Check out this great magic trick that I totally invented. But first you have to close your eyes, ready? Close your eyes, okay. Keep them closed and ta-da! Goat, pull this quarter right out from behind your ears while your eyes were closed. That's nice, right? Well, when I get to school to try it out, he's turning stuff into gold. I can't follow that. Dopey Unicorn thinks he's so great. How can anyone be friends with that guy? Look at me, I'm a unicorn. I think I'm so cool. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, I think I'll just eat pizza. Chomp, 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 chomp. Well, this goat's not buying all about unicorn. Great, here he comes. Whoa, what is that heavenly smell, says unicorn. It's goat cheese pizza. I'm a goat. What? Goats have cheese, says Unicorn. Unicorns don't have cheese. May I try it? This cheese is fantastic. It's so creamy and so delicious. It's also good smeared on tin cans, sprinkled on garbage too. Oh, you're so lucky, says Unicorn. I can only eat glitter and rainbows. Darn my sensitive stomach. Whoa, what's up with your hooves? Those things are out of control. Oh, these, these bad boys are cloven. It means they're split at the end. They let me stand on steep hills and climb on the tops of mountains. Oh man, I can't stand on steep hills or climb on those my stupid regular hooves. Don't be so hard on yourself, says Goat. Look at that fantastic horn. That thing is nuts. Eh, uh, it's just for show. All it's good for is pointing. I can't play soccer. One headbutt and the game's over. Pain in the neck horn. Look, his horn popped that soccer ball. Not you, though. I bet those awesome horns are perfect for soccer. I have an idea, says Goat, with your magic and my awesomeness. We'd be an unstoppable team. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. There's trouble at the bank. Taste my cloven justice. You've been unicorned. That's nice, right, says Goat? Sure it is, says Unicorn. Or we could just go to the park and play. You know something, Unicorn? I had a feeling we'd be friends. That was a really funny story, isn't it? 
All right, we have one more activity before you get to meet our special guest. And this one is two little unicorns sitting on a hill. Do you know what their names are? Jack and Jill. All right, they're gonna hide behind my back. Are you ready? Two little unicorns sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. <gasps> Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. <gasps> Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little unicorns sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. All right, we're going to do it again. Ready? We're going to hide them. And this time we're going to whisper it all together really quietly. Can you sing it with me? Here we go. Two little unicorns sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. All right, this is the last time we're gonna do it together. And this time we're gonna do it super duper fast. Are you ready? We're gonna do it as fast as we can. All right, get ready. Here we go. Two little unicorns sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Run away, Jack, run away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Two little unicorns sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Yay! All right, you guys did a great job with that. Now we're going to get ready for our special guest and his name is Conrad and he is a real unicorn. So let's watch for Miss Lori and her magical unicorn, Conrad. Ready? All right. I'll see you next time. Hi, everybody. Here's our special guest, Conrad the unicorn. He loves listening to stories, especially stories about unicorns. So he thought Heather's story was great. If you've got a favorite unicorn story you'd like to tell him about, leave us a comment. He loves finding new unicorn stories. He also likes unicorn crafts. At the end of this story time, we've got a unicorn craft that you can do at home. Conrad would love to see pictures of the unicorns you make. Now, like the unicorn in Heather's story, Conrad isn't so good at sports like soccer, but he does love to eat. So we're going to give him a little treat now and then we'll say goodbye. And don't forget to check out our craft.